Good morning students. In this video, we will discuss another example for constructing the precedence graph. So in this example, what I will do, I will not construct the table. Without table, can we check construct the precedence graph or not? We will check it. Okay. Because if you go for any competitive exams, they will give only limited size of blank sheet. Okay. So there you cannot construct the table. After the table, you cannot draw the precedence graph because of the space constraint. So I will teach you how to find the precedence graph or how to construct the precedence graph if the schedule is given in the sequence. Okay. First you need to find how many transactions are there. There is a transaction 1, transaction 2, transaction 3. So there will be 3 nodes in the precedence graph. Transaction 1, transaction 2, transaction 3. Okay. Is it clear? Now you see there is a read 3 of A. Okay. So you need to check after this one what are the operations are coming with them you have to check. But you should not check with the with the transaction 3. Means you should not say R3 of A, W3 of A is a conflict. You can say that sir both are read and one is read and another one is write operation and performing on the same data item so it is a conflict. No, we should not check with the conflicting operations with the same transactions. We should always compare with the other transaction. So R3 of A, R2 of A, whether it is a conflict, no, both are read operations. This is also not a conflict. Okay. Now this one is also not a conflict. Just now we have discussed. Okay. They belongs to same transaction. R3 of A, W1 of A. It is a conflict operation. So what is the conflicting operation? It is saying that R3 of A to W1 of A. So there should be an edge from transaction T3 to transaction 1. Okay. Then we have find that what are the conflicting operations with the R3 of A. So this is done. Now you come to this one. Read operation transaction 2 on a data item A is creating any conflict in operations or not. R2, R1 is not a conflict because both are read operation. This one is a conflict. What is the conflict operation is saying? R2 of A, W3 of A because they are performing on the same data item on two different transactions and one is performing the read, another one is performing the write. So it is a conflicting operation. The edge will be from transaction 2 to 2 transaction 3. Now if you see that R2 of A, W1 of A. Is it clear? So again it is a conflicting operation. R2 of A to W1 of A. So there should be an edge from transaction T2 to transaction 1. Is it clear? So we have found that what are the conflicting operations possible with the read to A. We are done with that. Now we will start this one. R1 of A, W3 of A is a conflicting operation. So there should be an edge from transaction 1 to transaction 3. Previously there is an edge from transaction 3 to transaction 1. Now we got an another edge from transaction 1 to transaction 3. So we can say that there is a cycle and we can say that it is not conflict serializable. But let me finish the entire one. R1 of A, W1 of A. Please check it. They both belong to the same transaction. So it is not a conflicting operation. So done with this one. Now W3 of A, W1 of A. It is a conflicting operation. So what it is saying? W3 of A to W1 of A. Meaning is that write in transaction 3 on a data item A is conflicting with the write on transaction 1 on a data item A. Is it clear? So what it is saying? Transaction 3 to transaction 1. Already there is an edge from transaction 3 to transaction 1. So no need to write, draw again. So we have found that. If you see this, after this operation, there are no other operations. So we can say that we have completed the construction of the precedence graph or finding the conflicting operations we have done. So now the precedence graph is completed. What we say is if there is a cycle then we can say that it is not conflict serializable. If there is no cycles, I can say that it is conflict serializable. Let me repeat again. So let me repeat again. There is a cycle, then we can say that it is not conflict serializable. 
if there is no cycle then i can say that it is complex serializable if you see that there is a cycle transaction 1 3 to transaction 1 it is going again it is coming back from transaction 1 to transaction 3 so it is a cycle is there so i can say that the given schedule s is not conflict serializable schedule meaning is that it is not conflict equivalent to any of its six serial schedules are possible among six now nothing no no schedule is conflict equivalent to the given schedule s okay i hope you have understood about the how to construct the precedence graph okay with what are the examples i have discussed okay thank you so much